How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, cats and dogs from the collecting world? Nameless Hunter here, yet again, bringing you another piece of toy history. And this time we're going to be talking about the Morlock series, Marvel Legends, Beta Ray Bill. <sighs> Where to start? Let's just say, uh, have you ever heard of that song, um, the first time I ever, I saw your face? Yeah, it goes something like this. The first time ever I saw your face, I thought the sun rose in your eyes, ah, my ears. Yeah, but <laughs> pretty much I fell in love with this guy. I know he has a horse face, literally. But he's pretty cool. I remember this guy. Uh, uh, I actually had that book. Well, I had a book of him, Beta Ray Bill. I think it was when he had that uh, chance duel against the Thor to prove if he was worthy or not. And uh, pretty much uh, he was worthy enough to let Mjolnir, or however you say his name, its name. And instead of taking uh, Thor's hammer, Odin just gave him Stormbreaker. Yes, this is a Stormbreaker and it belonged to Beta Ray Bill before he was on the MCU belonging to uh, Thor for some freaking reason. Anyway, this time I screwed up. I'm gonna have to, uh, oops. I'm gonna have to pop this guy open right here in front of everybody. Yes, I use a nail clipper for this. Uh, brand new one, by the way, but I totally screwed up. I should have prepared for this kind of thing beforehand. Rookie mistake, rookie mistake. I know. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, you know, it's the first time I'm actually seeing him from, from the back, so, and I never noticed that he has a hole in his cape. And I'm about to freak out. Like, why? Why, why is there a, a hole in his cape? Why? I know there has to be a reason, but why? Something's gonna happen to all that love I was feeling right about the beginning of this video. Why? Why are you having... Oh. Well, that's kind of dumb. I think they make the... The hole... For the freaking display stand. That's kind of dumb, but ah, uh, man. Ah, uh, what can I say? Oh well. And come on, come on, baby. Yeah, there it is. Oh god. Oh god. Again, that same issue. Well, it's not really an issue. It's more of a more of a little challenge. But yeah, I got some pain on my joints. You always get that with these Marvel Legends um, in the Toy Biz era. Too much pain, then sometimes it gets on the joints. But isn't he glorious? Beta Ray Bill, Horse Face Bill. Yeehaw. Anyway, let's get to some of the details here. Um, this one comes with articulated hands, movement on the wrist. Oh, it actually rotates. Um, the elbow is on a single joint. There's a swivel right there on the on the bicep, the shoulder. There is a butterfly. Yeah, it is a butterfly. We got a butterfly. We has butterflies. Half crunch. Not very. Eh, he can only go down, but he cannot go up. It gets locked right there. The head can look up that high. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Just, yeah, that high. 
that low and it has a movable jaw Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh man, it looks so cool. It was like a horse face Thor, I guess. I guess if somebody at a party would call, would say to Thor that he has a horse face, a face, uh, or yeah, a horse face, he will look like this. <laughs> Makes no sense, but okay, whatever. Anyway, really dig the color right there for the boots that gold color or bronze color I don't know what would you call it yeah the cape is pretty much rubber yeah rubber oh man I guess when they were cutting my cape at, a, at the assembly line I guess they kind of like chew it up a little bit I don't know I might have to like customize one made out of cloth maybe but come on that that's gonna take more time and I don't wanna play with my figure now anyway so there you have it the Toy Biz Battle Ray Bill aka Horse Face Thor <laughs> with the OG Stormbreaker by the way uh, that's all I wanted to talk uh, about today um, Pretty much uh, this came with the uh, Moldock series, so it was it came with that blaster piece for to build Moldock. But um, yeah, I don't know. There's not much interest on building a Moldock at this moment. I mean, after all, I have to hunt down these guys, which I think she's easy, somewhat easy. Mm, I guess easy. This one, if I want to get the destroyer, it's going to be a pain in the ass. But this guy can be found anywhere. So, And plus, it's going to be cheaper to find this guy than to fight the destroyer. Because I think the destroyer is going between $60, $80, I think, online. Or at some you know comic book shops, if you even find it. But never mind the Moon Knight. Moon Knight is just nowhere to be found. I don't think i ever seen that guy anywhere. But uh, if it happens, it happens. If I find them, I'll just pick them up. You know, I gotta have a Moldock anyway. Uh, I'm trying. I'm gonna try and build all the build the figures that came out on this uh, Marvel Legends run from Toy Biz. But yeah, pretty much the, that's it. Um, I know if I if I had a dollar for every time I I say oh pretty much pretty much pretty much then I'd be rich. But anyway, um, that's it for today. Uh, as usual. Um, Thank you very much for whatever time you give my videos. I really appreciate it. I'm only doing this for fun. Um, I just love talking about figures and I'm building my confidence to actually uh, be able to talk to you people through these videos. And if uh, you can leave a comment with some constructive uh, criticism, I always, I always welcome it. Um, you know, positive, negative. It's always good if I'm trying you know, to improve the channel. And um, as usual, take thank you very much for all your time. And uh, if you like it, we'll give us a thumbs up. If not, just give us a thumbs down. I'll let you, you give me a try, you know. But um, that's it for today. Well, thank you very much once again. And Nameless Hunter, out.